All right, what is up? I am a former complete fat ass as a kid, and I used to struggle a lot around the holiday time. So I'm gonna reel to you all the secrets and tricks and kind of tactics that I use to help navigate the holidays so I could actually lose the weight that I wanted to because I used to <laughs> get off track and I would gain like 20, 30 pounds. I remember uh, one time I went to uh, Stenson Beach for the 4th of July for a week. And I came back 35 pounds heavier. I went from, I just spent the past four months literally like dieting, doing a bunch of shit incorrectly, but losing weight before I know what I know now. I got down to like 225. I came back and I think I was like 260, maybe 265. Uh, I have the old my fitness pal <laughs> records, I think. Um, but let me break down what sort of tactics, right? Things you can implement in to actually help make sure that you're staying on track. So this is what I use. I, there's plenty of different ways to go about this, but this is what I found to really help me. Um, the, the first thing that I would do, okay, lead it. Like you need to get in a routine of like working out. So it's not just like, I'm going to work out on that one day and try to like save grace. Like that doesn't work, but um, so hopefully you're working out already, but, um, and then there's two different options. Like if you're going to be drinking alcohol or, or not, um, I will start with if you're not first. So again, this is to help you get through again. It, some people may disagree, but I don't really give a shit. Um, cause it worked for me. Okay. So the first thing that I would do say leading, like I knew Christmas, right? There's a bunch of different parties and shit you got to go to and dinners and stuff or whatever. Um, anytime I knew that there was an event later in the day, I would, I would fast that day. So for me, I could fast all day and it was fine because I had done a little bit of before, but typically I recommend anywhere from 16. Um, and this is for males predominantly females. You got a lot of different like hormones and shit going on that it may not be beneficial for that. Um, so, you know, talk with someone who is more of an expert on a female body. Uh, but I would fast 20 hours that day. Like I would not eat, I would just drink water, coffee, you know, pre-workout for working out or whatever. And that, that's what I, I basically see it as I'm saving like a caloric bank. Like I am saving all that money so then I can spend it when I go. And I know there's going to be like all the fucking foods I want to eat um, or alcohol, whatever, right. That I wanted to drink now. So I would fast. I was like, step one. Um, that was like the things going on behind the scenes. Step two, if I was not going to drink alcohol, I would do a like heavy or a like hypertrophy workout. And I would typically do like a full body with the emphasis more on the legs. Cause typically you're going to burn a little bit more calories and, and the food that you eat later can help a little bit more with uh, some of that muscle growth, assuming that you're eating some protein and things, but I would hit a pretty heavy workout. And then I would either do like 45 minutes to an hour. And then I would either do, um, like some, some, some conditioning or cardio at the end. And literally all I'm trying to do is just add in that caloric bank, like three, 400 more calories. Um, and then make sure I'm hitting steps throughout the day. Okay. That was it. Um, a lot of my dudes, I would recommend, like, if you got the whole day off, I'd be like, Hey, go hit a workout and then go golf, but don't use a cart. So you're just walking everywhere and they're, you know, and that's totally good. So if you are going to drink alcohol, I would definitely not recommend doing like a heavy strength, something that's going to cause you to be super, super sore because when you drink that alcohol, it's just going to slow down your uh, body's ability to recover. And you're basically going to be like sore and feel like shit for longer because your body is going to prioritize getting the toxins and the alcohol out of your body um, with, with that regard. So if, if no alcohol, go hit it hard, use it as like a muscle building, strength building thing. And then like go do a little bit of cardio, go golf and walk, or go do some conditioning and just get some more calories, uh, burnt. Uh, if you are going to be drinking alcohol, which I'm assuming a lot of people are, and I'm saying like, you're going to be like drinking, you're not going to have like one or two, you're going to have like four five, six, you know, you're going to get after it a little bit. Um, there are, I'm going to get into the nutritional aspect here in a second. So I would, 
recommend that you don't necessarily try to fatigue the muscle so much that you are going to create like a DOM, so delayed onset muscle soreness. You're going to actually uh, do more of a metabolic conditioning. You're going to do more of a cardio circuit based training. So it's lighter weight, you're getting the heart rate up and you're, you're, you're just moving and burning calories, right? Like that's all I really care about. Like with this, nothing that's going to make you sore. So a lot of concentric, meaning that it's not like slow eccentric, like lowering down, but it's a lot of like fast paced movement. Um, you know, I would pick very simple exercises that suck ass. So like sled pushes, you know, <laughs> any sort of like lunges, you know, bur I fucking hate burpees, but burpees like battle ropes, um, you know, just n running or sprinting um, all kettlebell swings, right? Those things you can just run in a circuit, um, and just, just bang through them and just try to, you know, go for like 20, 30 minutes, try to get your heart rate up as hard as you can. And then at the end, again, it's still like walking, doing something that's still active outdoors. Don't just sit at your house all day. Like again, cause if it's later in the evening, like I'm trying to like build that caloric bank. And I'm saying this because I'm assuming we're all just going to fuck up and just eat a bunch of shit. And this will kind of help counteract that. Um, so those are my two recommendations fast, your strength train, whether you're, uh, like I talked about, whether it's for, uh, not no alcohol drinking or alcohol drinking. Now, when it comes to the actual like nutrition, um, try to pair if you can, I know you're not going to know what the fuck is in every single meal. Um, but do your best to like run for the protein, like go get the protein first. And this is kind of what I'd, I'd get the protein and the veggies first. That's my first plate. Cause I would have more than one plate protein, veggies, first plate. And I'm just going to take as much as I want of that. Like I'm literally going to take as much as I want. Sorry, other people, whatever, or bring, <laughs> bring a healthy dish, right? Like it's not that hard. Like literally just like say, fuck them. I'm making this like, <laughs> you know, like I'm making this broccoli salad and I'm making it healthy. Cause at least that way, if everything else is like shitty food and just like super high calorie butter and cheese and bacon and all that stuff, like at least, you know, you got one thing that you can go and eat from like, so that there's a little side hack that you can do and something that we've done before. Um, when I would do this, you know, we'd bring in like, all right, like, I don't know if they're going to have enough chicken or whatever. I'm going to make like barbecue chicken and bring it. And then I'm going to take like half of it and eat it. Um, at least I know that there's one thing healthy that I can eat. So first plate, protein and veggies. And then if you really want, like, I'd always recommend that you try to like stay, uh, like paired either protein and carbs or like protein and fat. And the other one's really low. Um, just because, uh, we just want to, basically I want you to avoid a bunch of carbs and fats together, which is typically every single dish dinner dessert that you're going to find at a holiday party or anything. So <laughs> we're trying to avoid that as much as possible. Um, especially if you're drinking alcohol, like definitely go like protein carbs or protein fats. Um, with that, I'm not saying you can't have any of that stuff, just like your first go around, like focus on that. And then you can kind of dabble in a little bit, um, with it. And then if you are, um, drinking alcohol again it's like stick to the protein stick to one of the others try to minimize that with dessert you're probably you know they're going to be very sugary and, and stuff so you, you may go protein carbs and try to stay away from the fats as much as you can or have a nice little well mix of them but definitely have more protein and then pro tip it was what i t would tell my clients um when they were going through some of the same stuff especially the ones that were like drinking alcohol, I would just be like, look, I don't like have your normal first meal, like kind of what we talked about. And then if you get hungry or the drunchies or whatever, like literally just go eat unlimited protein, like unlimited protein. I don't care. Just, just have at it. At, and that way it was kind of like a mental little, like, okay, I can eat as much as I want of this. And then they would go eat it. And sure enough, they would have like a little bit more, they'd get full and satiated because of the protein and then they wouldn't be off track. I had a lot of people actually like get a little, like lose a little weight during that, um, following that method. Now, those are some of the tactics. Now, uh, like the big thing you got to change your, like 
fucking mindset around it. Like, it's literally one day. Like, who gives a shit? Um, and, you know, some people are like, oh, but I only get this one time a year. Like, just get the recipe. Make it later if you really want it, you know, or have a little bit. You don't need to eat all of it, right? It's just not that big of a deal. I think that's the biggest thing is like people build this shit up in their head like, oh, I have to eat. I have to do this. I have to blah, blah, blah. I only get it one time a year. We'll just take that rule and that mindset out of your head. It's not that hard. Okay. And just eat like a normal human being, you know, like go, go like pretend it's like any other day. It's not that hard. It's not that bad. Like, I'm sure some of you are like, oh, fuck you, dude. Um, I've been there. It's not. You have to make this, this the decision to do it. You have to be like, all right, this is my fucking goal. It's just Christmas. It's just New Year's. It's just whatever. Like, it's not that big of a deal. And if your friends give you shit, good. They're going to do that anyways. Like, who gives a shit? Just tell them to fuck off. Like, fuck you. Right? Like, I don't care. It's it, And, and then, then the next day, it's not like they're going to have that, like, written down and bring it up over the time. I mean, you get a little shit, but, like, it, it's really not going to matter in the long run. It really is not. Right. And if there, I mean, okay, that's definitely like a guy's for like friend group that I just talked about. Uh, but if it's like, you know, like I can't say no to my grandma, right? Like, well, go have a conversation with her. <laughs> like, go have a conversation with your parents. Be like, hey, like, look, like, I'm trying to stay on track. Like, this fitness thing and losing weight is like really important to me. I'm going to still like enjoy everything, um, you know, but just, just like help me out. Don't, don't don't try to like keep feeding me stuff. I'm trying to be good. I, you know, maybe don't have as much willpower. So like, can you help me out? Right. If people are giving me shit, have my back. Cool. Every fucking parent, every fucking grandparent is going to be like, wow, that is so awesome. Like, yes, I support that. They're not going to be like, oh, mijo, no, you have to eat all this shit. If you have that conversation beforehand, they're going to be like, wow, I'm proud of you for sticking to your goals and making your health important. Like it's, it's really like not as big of a deal. Um, or you can do what I did, uh, if you have the skin for it, like thick skin, I just, I just got really okay with telling people no, like it just didn't matter to me. Like, oh, you, you want this? No, I don't. Nope. No, I don't. At work at anything like, oh, are you going to eat these? Don't No, I'm not. I don't want that shit. No. And I just like embraced it to my fullest. And like, after a while, people were just like, oh, Nick's not going to eat it. And it didn't matter. Like, it really didn't matter. So there are some tactics for you to make yourself be able to kind of get through the holidays, right? And then also, like, the mindset behind it. Um, you know, you just got to eat like a damn dog, right? Like, consistent. <laughs> you got to you gotta eat the, the same quantity, right? The same quality macro broke down timing all that stuff like if you need like a dog and embrace the dog mindset it's kind of what i was getting around a little bit um you're gonna have really good uh results uh in the long run and just stop thinking about it <laughs> stop making it such a big deal like it, it's really not that big of a deal when it comes to the holidays you know like you're there to enjoy the company have fun with your friends and family you know enjoy some food not fucking overindulge and feel like a piece of shit like you can't move for the next four days um because there's no worse feeling and if you need to use this as motivation there is no worse feeling in the mo well maybe there's a few but when you've been consistent you've been working out and you've been training and you've seen progress maybe you've lost five ten pounds and you know it took you two three months of just hard consistent effort to let one like six hour stent, just fuck it all up. And then you got to do the two, three hours or two, three months of grinding again. Like imagine if you were just able to like not do that and then continue with the process for another six months, you'd be, you know, 10, 15, 20 pounds and probably like damn near to your goal just by not fucking up one time. That's all it is. It's one day. That's all it is. All right. These are the secrets of a former fat ass and fat kid uh, and what I did to help myself. Um, you know, again, this is assuming there's no like emotional shit going on in the background um, for yourself, which probably a lot is. And you need to handle that if it is um, or just detach your feelings away from food and eat for fuel. It's, 
know it's not as always as easy, but if you can just adopt that mindset, it will make your life so much easier. Like, take the fucking power away from food and holidays and all that shit. It's, <laughs> I say it now because I've been through it, right? I'm laughing at it now. I know it's fucking hard. I get it. Like, I fucking get it. But looking back on it, I'm like, wow, it's fucking stupid. It's a goddamn potato or it's a fucking piece of cake. Like, I'm a fucking human being. This thing can't even, you know, it's just fucking, it's funny now to me. But all right, I hope this helps. Um, I hope it was, uh, you know, will help you on your way. And if not, sorry. <laughs>